All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We're just chilling right now. We're uh, back in Skyrim once again, and I think this is where we need to go, actually. I don't know if there's any enemies in here. I don't think there are. I don't think there are, I mean. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of a trap there. We avoided, luckily, and that's fine. But let's head into the Alftan Cathedral. <laughs> Excuse me. bit of traps here. Let me check out this left area first, because I think that's where we need to head to. Uh, see if there's anything worthwhile taking. Looks of the Defender, I will take, because I can sell that for a pretty, pretty decent price. Doesn't look like anything over here. How about in this little corner here? Still leveling up our illusion as we go, so that's why I'm... That's why I have it out, and it's going. Try to avoid these if we can. Don't really want to get sliced up. Not even sure what it would tag us with but oh maybe maybe it just alerts them all right let's try to get a sneak attack see if it'll go down in one shot nope not one but probably two yeah there we go i will take the steel arrow because those are actually relatively decent uh, i'll take another torch i guess that's fine so, oh okay a bunch of guys in here all right let me take a quick drink real quick Alright, that's not a dude, but I saw one up there a second ago. Let me go ahead, oops. Never seen anything quite shoot, like I didn't mean to shoot that. I accidentally tapped the key. Okay, here he is. I don't know where the other ones are, but I'm gonna try to get a sneak attack in on him. Okay, nice. They didn't really hear it. Okay, they did hear it, but they didn't hear it so that they can see me. Or to the point that they can see me. Are there any more? Ooh, some glowing mushrooms up there. Okay. I don't know if that's all of the guys in here, so let me let me lie low a little bit here. Staff of lightning bolts, we can definitely sell that. Um, before I go up there, let me check these little huts. Take the chorus eggs, I think. Nothing else really needs to be taken, but we could grab this. White caps. Some more eggs. Ooh. Hello. Oh, what the heck? Wait, you can like go around here? I never knew that. I didn't mean to shoot that arrow either. Whoops. What the heck? I never knew about this. It's like a secret entrance into it, or, or is it just a place behind? Oh, it's like a place behind. What the heck? That's so cool. I never actually knew about this. Hold on. Let me just explore this real quick. There's probably nothing, but I didn't realize you could even go back here, so let me check it out. Cool looking mushrooms, though, right? Nice, got another level up. Good stuff. Yeah, nothing really back here, but that's kind of interesting that you can even go back here. I did not realize you could, so there you go. The more you know. Not really anything down there. Alright, uh, did I already harvest these? No, okay. I've got your Oops. back. Sorry, didn't mean to click yet. Make sure I got all the glowing mushrooms. As many alchemy ingredients as we can get for free. I'll definitely take. Alright, let's check in this hut real quick. Ooh, we got a chest. Ebony mace. Wow. You know, I might actually start using that. That's quite a bit of damage. What is my current one? 18, and the ebony was 29, so yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna start using that actually. Cool. And there's a Warhammer too. I can start well leveling up my two handed if I want. Uh, let me go ahead and favorite this guy real quick. Uh, I already did favorite him. I meant like uh, hotkey it. There we go. That extra bit of damage is pretty nice. Lydia, I need you to get out of the way. Oh. Yep, thank you, thank you. Some more chorus eggs. We'll harvest the other ones too. Okay, cool. Um, not. Not sure if there's more enemies, but let me, let me make sure that everything is looted first. I think there's one, might be one back there. So I need to be a bit careful. It's always like very specific area that you can get these. You can't just like go straight into them. I saw it for a second there. Okay, you know what? I'm not even worried about it. It's uh, it's being too annoying. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Oh, 
Is that guy alive? He's moving. Yep. Okay, he's alive. Oh, what the heck? But he was about to attack him, it looks like. <laughs> Alright. Is that the only guy? I think it might be. Let me... Let me sneak. Just in case it isn't the only guy. Oh, let's try it down. A little bit more down. A little bit more down. A little bit more down. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, take that. I'm not worried about the mace. Let's check inside here. Some more chorus eggs. Gonna have so many of those. I'll take the bow for now, but we're getting pretty close to our carry weight. Of course we can give it to her if we need to, but... Um, probably not gonna worry about the, the bows very much anymore. Take your venom, because we can sell it. And then, whoops. Let's take the white caps. Chorus eggs. Anything back there? Kind of looks like you can go up, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Um, no, no, yes. And all the rest is no. Back up, Lydia. Please. Thank you. Alright, perfect. Okay, a little bit of a hidden chest here. That's what we like to see. <laughs> uh, dwarven bow, okay, nice. Uh, I think mine's better. What do I have right now? Glass? Yeah, glass, 27. Bows, dwarven is 20. Yeah, that's definitely better than what I, what I just picked up, but hey. This kind of looks like a place you can get up. I don't know if you're, you're probably not supposed to be able to at least. So I'm guessing you can't, but hey, might be able to get back there. Either way, uh, let's go ahead and use our level up super quick. Um, I think we've just been going health because we want to be a little bit tankier. So we'll kind of go up from there. Uh, let's see, restoration. I kind of do want to get this to apprentice, but let me double check that there's nothing else that I want first. I know smithing is something I should probably be going for soon. Um, this one needs 30. We're not quite there, but we should be able to get there pretty easily. What is this? Okay, yeah, we can do this if we want. Enchantments. I think that'll be useful. I mean, eventually I'm going to put some points on this, but right now, until I get enchantment level 100, I'm not going to be worried about it, worrying about it suit, uh, like a whole lot or anything. You know, the heavy armor, armor rating would actually be pretty suit, pretty nice. How much is this? How much is that? Okay. Archery. Oh, we can get this up, actually. I'll definitely do that. Yeah, that'll be useful. All right, cool. There goes my... My level up perk thing. Level up points. All right, I think that's all of it. Uh, I'm just going to open this main area from, I believe, up here. Should be like a lever. Oh, and a depth chest. And my pick was like zero health on it. One HP or something. Uh, this one's almost broken. There we go, we got it. Uh, steel shield, sure. I can sell it. Amulet of Zenithar. can also sell, but I can also use it to get better prices. Let me drop some stuff real quick so she can pick it up. I know I have some more of those big ones that I picked up. She can have this too. Um, where was it? Down here somewhere. You can take the flute too. Sure, why not? And the hide. Um, and the loot. And this. And this. Yep, that one. That was the big one. All right, and then we'll, she'll take she'll take the rest of the uh, uh, Falmer bows that I've picked up as well. And take the dwarven bow too. Why why not? And these daggers. That should be fine. Still here. I am at your command. Oh shoot, I went to the wrong thing. <laughs> All right. I need you what to do it? something. Go ahead and pick what up uh, this. A 
some okay, of this. Got it. And that. Okay, got it. This, this, this. Okay, got it. This. Okay, got it. And that. Okay, and this, got it. And this. And okay, this. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, I got think it. That's everything for now. Oh, no, there's a bow here. Okay, got it. Anything oh, there's else? one more actually. Hold I've on. got your. Sorry. All right, what is it? <laughs> Uh, what do you need? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, got it. Oh, I didn't do it quick enough. It's fine. I'm not even worried about it, honestly. Um, she'll, we'll take that and then go ahead and activate the lever, which should open that gate there. Yep, sure did. Ooh, some glowing mushrooms right here, too. Nice. Oh, we could actually take all three that time. That's interesting. I was not expecting that one. Oh, okay. Looks like we might be fighting a urban centurion here. Alright, we'll take this shield because we can sell it. It's also a pretty decent shield. Uh, ooh, wow. Destruction spells cost 20% less to cast. It's pretty nice. A little hidden chest back here. Dynamo core, some other stuff. There he is. Has he seen us yet, though? No, he has not. So we get some sneak attack damage on him. Take the Daedric arrows for sure. Uh, Dwemer Cog, some scrap metal. Key to Elf Tend Lift, okay. We probably need that. And then is this guy, yeah, he's already, already taken out. Or decommissioned, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, definitely take all that stuff. Okay. Looks like, there it is. Open gates, and we, looks like we're pretty much to the Elder Scroll. Let me check around these corners real quick to make sure I'm not missing anything. And re-equip muffles so we can level that back up again. Uh, ooh, yeah, some stuff back here, looks like. Or at least one chest. Apprentice level lock. Should level up our lockpicking to 50. Nice little round number. And then imminent alchemy. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's not bad. That'll actually increase, um, increase the uh, value, which will also help us level up alchemy quicker of potions that we craft. What's our current necklace? Light armor. Okay, that's, that's useful for right now. I'm gonna have to remember it. Hasn't there been enough death? Of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. Huh? Huh. Guess they're fighting. I don't want to damage them so I get credit. I want to see what if she says anything. Okay, no, she doesn't say anything. At least maybe because Lydia's right there. I'm not sure. All right, we got him. Okay, Umana, she got some pretty cool stuff. Targe of the Blooded. This is a unique shield here. Uh, heavy armor when bashing does three points of bleeding damage for five seconds. So what, 15? Yeah, 15 damage total. Um, over the course of five seconds. Not nothing nothing crazy, but definitely some damage. Uh, steel plate armor we can sell. It's also pretty useful. Steel plate boots, steel plate gauntlets, steel arrow. And then we'll check out his stuff. Not really worried about any of that. I'll take the burning one though. I think we already have the enchantment, but even if we don't, we can still sell it for a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, we'll go ahead and unlock that. That's where we're going, but let me quickly see if this is something we can open. I think some of these, uh, when you go to the top, they're actually like locked from the inside, and so you can't actually get out unless you activate these or get back in. Yep, from uh, from there. So now we've activated that. Now we can go straight back down the cathedral, I guess. Oh. And then. That way, when we're going from uh, above, we can actually quickly get in without any problems, without having to go all the way back through. <laughs> all right, well, I guess those are the two people that were in the books that we were reading, right? I think. Uh, all right, yeah, let's go ahead and activate the Dwarven Mechanism. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I didn't even realize it happening beneath my feet. Pretty cool, honestly. Uh, way to make a door there. We've got Black Reach here, okay. Alright. This is one of the unique little places in Skyrim that you don't, uh, I mean, you will find if you're doing the, the storyline, but uh, it's not always, not, not, probably a lot of people have not, uh, not checked out yet. Should we use this? <laughs> There's a little guy there, but it looks like it hit missed him. Let's see if we can hit him from here. Oh yeah, nice, good stuff. Oh, there's an enemy over there as well. We'll take out as many as we can while we're over here. Well, that should have hit him, come on. One more. That should have hit him as well. Okay, I don't know how that's not hitting him, but alright. There we go. Oh, there's someone over here, hold on. Where are you at? Where are you at, bro? Okay, he can't see us. Alright, anyways, let's go back to muffling. Uh, but yeah, this is a big place that we're going to have to explore. Um, we can go straight to the objective if we really want to, but while I'm down here, I do want to go ahead and explore it and finish pretty much everything that's down here. Um, there's a few different quests, and it's going to take a little bit of time for sure, but uh, I just want to do it while I'm down here so I don't have to come back. One of the things um, is actually the Crimson Nurn route here. Started a return to roots. It's a unique quest for down in this little area, and it's pretty cool, so we'll go ahead and do that while we're here. Let me... Let me loot this guy real fast. Also, if we go inside this little building, there's some, some info about it, actually. Dwemer plate, metal. Let's go ahead and head inside real fast, and then we can... We can do the rest in a bit. Ooh, ebony ore vein. Yes, please. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, down here in Blackreach, there are a lot of ore, ore veins. Um, but mostly geodes, which actually give you, uh, like, gems, and also, like, soul gems. Not just, like, uh, Cinderian's Field Laboratory. Huh? Field. Um, oh. but yeah. There's another one right there. Alright, uh, clothes we don't need. There's no one in here, so I'm not worried about Leather boots of hauling. How much? 30 points. What's my current one? It's 40, right? Yeah, it's 40. Okay. Super nice, though. Uh, we can actually disenchant this one. We can get that enchantment. And once we get a level 100 of the enchantment, we can also apply it onto whatever we want. So that'll be useful. Although we don't really, don't really need to waste the enchantment on, on carry weight. But it is useful, at least earlier on. Cinderian's Field Journal. Let's go ahead and ch check this out real fast. Looks like he got killed with some arrows. Uh, all right. Cinderian's Field Journal. Discover the significance of Crimson Nerd Root. Collect the Crimson Nerd Root in Black Reach, 1 of 30. Cinderian's Field Journal. Fourth Era, 58. Second Seed, Midas. Midas. Uh, I've spent a large portion of my life unraveling the mystery of the Nerd Root, and yet I still feel unfulfilled. The trilling sound this strange herb emits seems to taunt me, to push me even harder just to discover its secrets. Even after a generous and indomitable traveler it became... Uh, a field collector in my stead and provided me with five score of the Nern root, I was only able to minister, sorry, muster what I consider a mediocre alchemical creation at best. This only served to strengthen my hunger and whet my appetite for the solution. It wasn't until over 50 years later that the answer to my prayers was carried into my basement workshop at the West Wheeled Inn. The first thing I heard was the familiar tone, that unmistakable warble unique to the Nern root. But when I turned around, my heart leapt and a chill ran down my spine. This was indeed a Nern root, but of a vari variety the likes of which I have never seen. The herb was awash in a spectacular array of red hues, each leaf seemingly emblazoned with innumerable variations of crimson. I couldn't move. I was completely transfixed. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined a species of Nern root with such a unique property. After an awkward silence, I finally managed to stammer out a few questions to the traveler who'd brought me this treasure. He told me this was, that his name was Obeth Arnesian, 
a treasure seeker from Skyrim. Apparently, he'd been exploring a vast subterranean network of grand caverns called Blackreach, and had stumbled across what he dismissed as a noisy red weed. His expedition was largely unsuccessful, and he didn't want to leave the caves empty-handed, so Obeth picked one of the Crimson Dune route to bring home. He said that it took some time, but eventually he was pointed my way and that perhaps I'd pay a fair price for it. Before I could gather my wits and ask anything else, else Obeth offered to sell me the Crimson Nurn Root sample, a map showing me how to find Black Reach and the strange key needed to breach its outer defenses. It took me mere moments to, to decide. Obeth left Skingrad a thousand septum roots richer, but I would have easily paid ten times that amount to obtain the sample alone. It took a year of planning, but I was able to pack up and sell my workshop and make my way into Skyrim. Before delving headfirst into Blackreach, I knew I needed to set up a new laboratory, but wished to do so in seclusion. After making inquiries at the College of Winterhold, of which I was an honorary member, I was directed to speak to Avrusa Sarethi, a student of botanical alchemy who had a small farm near the city of Riften. By bartering my knowledge of Nerdroot cultivation, I was able to secure Sarethi Farm a launching, as a launching point for my field research. I kept the knowledge of the Crimson Nerd Root a secret from Evrusa, but imparted everything else I knew to her um, in exchange for her hospitality. A few months passed, but I was finally ready to enter Blackreach. I used, I used the ruined lexicon that Obeth had provided and descended into the depths. My goal was to gather enough Crimson Nerd Root to produce my greatest alchemical creation to date. I was certain it would take at least 30 of them to provide the necessary catalyst. This brings me to the present. My initial research seems to indicate that the Crimson Nern Root has a similar affinity for moisture as the Garden variety, but also maintains some sort of symbiotic relationship with the enormous fungi that inhabits Blackreach. It's my guess that the fungi itself is a source of water absorbing it from the most the moist subterranean air like a sponge this provides the ideal environment for the nern root to grow unfortunately the crimson nern root appears to have a vastly shortened lifespan and they are in no way plentiful down here gathering 30 of them will be quite the challenge but hopefully the denizens of black reach will allow me to gather my samples unhindered and evidently it looks like it was not so <laughs> dwarven arrows indeed in his back but uh yeah that's gonna be our quest down here and that's what we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do i need to check this tonight okay i'm gonna sleep because it'll give me that uh rested bonus and then we got a cooking pot here i'm not sure if i have the stuff Ooh, attunement sphere i grabbed as well i think i already have one of those but just in case uh silver and moonstone circlet will take and i want to double check if i have this book or not yet or have come across it yet the Black Arrow Volume 1. I have, okay. So, I have um, have read it, or I have picked it up recently, or previously, but that doesn't mean I can't uh, pick it up again. I'll probably read it later. Alright, pretty much take all of this, honestly. Uh, take this stuff to Greater Soul Gym. Looks like we're over encumbered, and that's fine. We'll make sure she picks up some stuff. We've got some stuff here. Take the regular Nern root first. Cup, ears, apothecary satchel, all of this. Ooh, we got some more fire salts. Nice. Daedra heart. Those are a little bit rare. That's really good. All right. So that should be all of that stuff. I'm gonna read this um, real fast. De rerum Durinus by Vorian Durini. Uh, once again, you can always just pause to read those, um, and then I'm planning on doing, I actually started some already, but I'm planning on doing some uh, recordings that uh, will help us figure out, like, all the books. I'll just re read through all the books, basically. I um, need you to do something, but first let me drop this stuff on the ground real quick. Um, I guess we can do it over here. That'll work. Ooh, looks like I missed a briar heart. Okay, obviously we're going to drop that down. That's going to be one of the heaviest things. Can have these. These two, the two level, the two weighted things aren't 
a big deal in my opinion. The cogs are pretty heavy though. Yeah, we do have two attunement spheres, but that's fine. Uh, let's check out some of this weapons and armor. We can probably drop some of it and get rid of it. We really don't need this Imperial Sword anymore. Although I could grab, keep it just in case, but we really don't need it. Uh, she can pick up this, because why not? The Warhammer. Uh, I don't really want to give it to her because I want to use it, but maybe I should. The Iron Daggers we don't need. How about this stuff? Helmet, I don't really even need. Um, let's see, what do we have? She can pick up the fur armor, kind of the hardened stuff, and the shield, the helmet. Is there a block uh, one here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, just checking. What else can we drop for her to pick up? We can drop that, I guess. Uh, this is going to be super nice. Um, let's see what else, what else? Archery. I have the scaled helmet, I guess, for now at least. Stick plate armor, boots, gauntlets, shield. I have the steel shield upgraded to 28. I wonder how much the uh, the dwarven shield was. I forgot actually. We could probably just start using that if we wanted to. Uh, and then check the weapons. Oh, we already did that, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. All right, we'll give her the woodcutter's axe. I think that should be it. What was the the shield? There it is, 29. So it's actually better than what I have. Um, okay. Is it the workbench or is it the tools? Okay, yeah, it is the workbench. I'll go ahead and upgrade it. Sure, why not? Targe of the Blooded. Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I guess we'll favorite that then. Unfavorite this guy and drop it so she can pick it up. And then let's favorite that and then put it in here as, I think it was five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, for, also let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I, I need you to do something. Right. What is it? Oh shoot, what I need to uh, stop the video as well. I'll do that in just a second. Thank you guys for watching okay, though. Pick up all this stuff, please. Okay, got it. Uh, this, this. Okay, got it. This, this, this. Okay, got it. This, this. Okay, got it. Uh, this. Okay, got it. Anything else that fell over here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, you can have these. Okay, got it. This drummer cog. Steel okay, shield. Dwarven dagger. Okay, Woodcutter's axe. Imperial shield. Okay, got it. And I think that's it, to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, that should be it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, oh, you can activate the torch scots. Anything That's interesting. Else? Huh, cool. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, oh, I'll take this for sure. I didn't realize that was there. Uh, and I will catch you in the next part. All right, peace.